Hey everyone, if you just saw the Xbox Partner Preview event, you may be wondering what in the world is Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess? Well, it's Capcom's latest new IP with its highly unique art style that has captivated my interest. And if you're here, I'd imagine the same. And I hope to be able to shed more light on it. Inspired by unique titles like Okami and Sinsekai Into the Depths, both of which are from Capcom, it's a Japanese-inspired single-player game that blends both action and real-time strategy, which can be a turnoff for some. I'm not typically a fan at all of that genre, but the game looks intriguing enough and I want to give it a try when it does come out later this year, and especially because the game will be launching day one on the Game Pass. Not only that, but it will also be available on the Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and Steam. This is a visually vibrant and stunning looking game. At times the visual clutter with just how much there seems to be going on all at once with the traditional Japanese aesthetic utilizing the powerful RE engine for graphics. The game is set against the backdrop of the mythical mountain Kafuku, which has fallen under a malevolent influence. The protagonist, So, alongside Yoshiro, a divine maiden, embarks on a quest to cleanse the mountain of its surrounding villages of this dark defilement as they try to reacquire the 12 masses, each possessing unique powers that have been stolen. The narrative is deeply rooted in the themes of purification and protection, leveraging the mystical allure of traditional Japanese folklore with yokai. This game combines action-packed combat sequences referred to as dancing swords with strategic gameplay elements. It moves between the day and night cycle, with each offering distinct activities and challenges. By day, player focus on exploration, purifying defilements, and fortifying defenses. By night, the game shifts towards intense combat scenarios where the player must protect Yoshiro and the village from the sea, utilizing your time wisely before sunset. You, the player, must make tactical decisions about which villagers to help alongside battle with you. Different masses will grant different powers that help some villagers excel at either close-range battles, while others can help heal your crew. And utilizing terrain to your advantage, prepare your position and ready for battle once the moon begins to rise. Winning in each village depends on guiding Yoshiro, the Divine Maiden, safely through the tour gates before the thief defeats her. Be cautious as each Tory gates links to an evil universe and allows the thief to enter. Lead Yoshiro to these gates to cleanse the village of evil. A significant aspect of this game is rooted in Japanese culture, notably through the inclusion of Kagura. These are traditional dances meant for purification, drawn from Shinto practices. This cultural touch adds a layer of authenticity and depth enriching the player's experience and immersion. The thief are inspired Inspired by various Japanese yokai, introducing players to a wide range of mythical creatures from ghosts, shapeshifters, demons, monsters, and historic folklore. Director Suichi Kawata shares his excitement and the challenges faced in bringing Kanitsugami Path of the Goddess to life. Having previously worked on Sensekai Into the Depths, Kawata is no stranger to innovative game development. The team's dedication to blending action and strategy within a framework inspired by Japanese culture promises a unique gameplay experience. So there you have it. What do you think of Kanitsugami Path of the Goddess? As I've expressed before, real-time strategy isn't typically a genre I play, but this game looks interesting enough to where I will give it a chance to see how it does. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching.